Hello, my name is Justin and I'm going to talk to you about the issue of gay marriage. Or I actually meant to say marriage equality. Yes, I live in Australia and here our Prime Minister is an atheist woman who lives with her male partner, yet she opposes same-sex couples being able to marry. I know, right? Doesn't make any sense. Especially when you have the Prime Minister of New Zealand in favour of same-sex marriage. Oh, and let's not forget President Obama. Yes, unless you've been hiding under a rock, Barack Obama himself endorsed marriage equality last week. He's the first sitting president to ever endorse this. Now, you're probably wondering, hey, why aren't you saying gay marriage? But that's what it is. Sure, that sounds acceptable, but if I go swimming in a pool, am I going gay swimming? I mean, what what is gay swimming anyway? Like, when I go to university to study, am I gay studying? No, those tags are unnecessary, hence why marriage equality is what I prefer to say, because it's the right thing. Now, recently there were two inquiries into bills set up by Sarah Henson Young and Stephen Jones that seek to change the Marriage Act from one man and one woman to two adults. Seems simple, doesn't it? Your friends that are straight are able to marry. So are your gay friends, or perhaps even your gay brother or gay sister or aunt, uncle, nieces, nephews, mother, father, pretty much anybody you can think of. So people from the Australian Christian lobby like Jim Wallace and Lyle Shelton, please tell me exactly how marriage equality is detrimental to society. As far as I can see, the only detrimental effects of society I have seen is people like you trying to limit others' basic human rights. Marriage is a basic human right. These bills received over 60% of support from those who gave their submissions. These inquiries have been found to have the most amount of submissions since the euthanasia bill back in 1997. Now, I'm not trying to blast all Christians because everybody knows Christian or a Catholic that does spread the love of God, which is free of judgment and free of hate. So isn't it time to start practicing what you preach? <coughs> Jim Wallace. But here comes the latest string of blatant homophobic material. The submission of one group called Doctors for the Family. They said that legalizing same-sex marriage would result in a risk of people choosing the gay lifestyle. Choosing. Choosing. Hmm, that word is particularly frustrating as it's as it has been proven time and time again that sexuality is not a choice. I mean, why would anybody choose to be bullied like that? Seems kind of stupid to me. For doctors as they claim to be, it strikes me as though they even I know that sexuality is not a choice. Even my little brother who is still in primary school knows that love is love. So why discriminate, huh? Now, some homophobes watching this might think, what a crock of shit. But let me tell you this. If homosexuality is a disease, or if it leads people to choose the gay lifestyle, then why can't they simply choose to opt out any time? Why aren't all my straight male friends hitting on me because somehow I've made them gay? Why is it that in countries where gay couples have the legal right to marry, including Canada and the Netherlands, that they have not crumbled. Hmm? Simple. Because marriage equality is not going to destroy the institution of marriage. It is not going to impact on anybody's life or existing marriage. And if God does hate gay people and wants their wedding ceremonies banned and wants homosexuality condemned, blah blah blah, all that crap, then why does homosexuality exist in over 1,500 species of animals, yet homophobia only exists in ant humans? For those that are religious, only God created us in his image, right? So why are you trying to ban us? On the funny side of things, on April 1 this year, Yes, you heard correctly, April Fool's Day. The joke that is Peter Madden came to Sydney to converse with gay rights advocates. He had travelled around Australia in a truck talking about these dangers of same-sex marriage. It seems strange to me that someone is willing to go that far just to reaffirm their heterosexuality. For those who don't know about this clown, he previously battled a sex addiction, and as a result his marriage crumbled. Now why the hell are people even listening to this guy talking about these dangers of marriage rights to same-sex couples when he himself abused the system. I mean, it doesn't really make sense. I mean, he refused to acknowledge his supposed evidence, but has no problem trying to smear the Labour Party and the Greens Coalition simply because they support human rights to marriage. What a disgrace of a Christian. Being a true Christian means loving people for who they are. It does say in the Bible, judge not lest ye be judged. So therefore, Peter, I cannot call you a Christian, and neither am I. It's 2012, Julia Gillard. Wake up and see that Australia supports marriage equality, and so does the Labour Party. You are the first woman to attain the ranks of Prime Minister, so why not be the first sitting Prime Minister to support marriage equality? I supported you. It's about time you supported me.